Hi! Welcome to my channel! At kung bago ka lang dito ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking bagong mod tutorial video. Today, we're going to continue the topic solving quadratic equation by factoring. Last time, we tackled about factoring in the form x squared plus bx plus c and factoring with the common monomial factors. Ngayon naman, pag-aralan natin ang factoring polynomials that are a difference of squares and a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so start tayo sa difference of squares in the form a squared minus b squared is equal to the quantity of a plus b times the quantity of a minus b. So first example, x squared minus 16 is equal to 0. By the way, class, kapag ganito yung given na nasa form ng x squared plus k or x squared plus c, mas madali talaga siyang isolve gamit ang extracting the square root. Pero syempre, dahil factoring yung topic natin, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ito isolve gamit ang factoring. Step number 1, i-convert lang natin yung x squared minus 16 doon sa form ng a squared minus b squared or yun ngang form ng difference of squares. Okay, so unahin na natin class yung first term natin. Okay, so dito ibababa lang natin yung ating first term. Next, yung second term natin class, kukunin lang natin yung kanyang exponential form. So bali magiging 4 raised to the second power. So, x squared minus 4 squared is equal to 0. So, ito na yung tinatawag nating difference of squares. So, pwede na natin i-convert yung difference of squares dun sa ating sum and difference of two binomial. So, bali magiging x plus 4 times the quantity of x minus 4. After that, apply natin yung ating zero product property magiging x plus 4 is equal to 0 and x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, isolve natin yung x plus 4 is equal to 0 using subtraction property of equality. So, subtract both sides by 4. So, magiging x is equal to negative 4. Next, yung namang x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, gamitan naman natin ng addition property of equality. Add both side by 4. So, x minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0 plus 4. So, magiging x is equal to positive 4. So, our final answer class is x is equal to 4 and x is equal to negative 4. Okay, next example. 1 over 49 x squared minus 81 is equal to 0. Okay, so first step ulit natin, kukunin lang natin or i-convert natin yung given doon sa ating form ng a squared minus b squared. So 1 over 49 x squared minus 81 is equal to 1 over 7 x raised to the second power minus 9 raised to the second power. So, kung nahihirapan kayo dito, class, parang ganito lang yun. Kukunin nyo lang yung square root, then, i-raise mo sa second power. So, alimbawa, 1. Square root of 1 is equal to 1. Square root of 49 is equal to 7. Square root of x squared is equal to x, and then, 1 over 7x raised to the second power. And then yung 81, square root of 81 is 9, then raise mo lang sa second power, 9 times 9 is equal to 81. And then, lalagay na natin siya sa sum and difference of 2 binomial. So magiging 1, 7, x plus 9 times the quantity of 1 over 7x minus 
9. Tapos, apply natin uli yung zero product property. So, 1 over 7x plus 9 is equal to 0. And 1 over 7x minus 9 is equal to 0. Now, let's solve 1 over 7x plus 9 is equal to 0. So, using subtraction property of equality, subtract both sides by 9. Okay, so 1 over 7x is equal to negative 9. Gamitan naman natin class ng multiplication property of equality. Uh, multiply both sides by 7. Okay, so 7 times 1 is equal to 7. Divided by 7 is equal to 1 times x is equal to x. Is equal to negative 9 times 7 is negative 63. Okay, next is 1 over 7x minus 9 is equal to 0. Ganun lang din. So, gagamitan natin class ng addition property of equality. Add both side by 9. So, magiging 1 over 7x is equal to 9. Then, multiplication property of equality. Multiply both side by 7. Then, x is equal to positive 63. So, our final answer is x is equal to 63 and x is equal to negative 63. Now, let's proceed dun sa ating perfect square trinomial. Or factoring a perfect square trinomial in the form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to the quantity of a plus b raised to the second power. Or a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to the quantity of a minus b raised to the second power. Example, x squared plus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. Okay, so first step, halos katulad nung ginawa natin kanina, but this time, doon sa first term and last term. So, magiging x raised to the second power and 4 raised to the second power. Next, gamitin naman natin class yung 2ab. So, yung x ilalagay natin doon sa a and then yung 4 ilalagay naman natin doon sa pwesto ng b. So, bali magiging 2 times x times 4 and 2 times x times 4 is equal to 8x then check natin kung yung product na nakuha natin ay parehas doon sa ating middle term okay so since parehas silang 8x ibig sabihin yung given natin is a perfect square trinomial so meaning pwede natin siyang gawing square of a binomial the quantity of x plus 4 raised to the second power. Next is apply the zero product property. So x plus 4 is equal to 0 and x plus 4 is equal to 0. So since parehas lang naman to, isa lang yung isosolve natin. So x plus 4 uh, using subtraction property of equality, subtract both sides by 4. So, x is equal to negative 4. Okay, next example. 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 is equal to 0. So, first, kunin uli natin yung sa ating first and last term. So, magiging 2x raised to the second power and 3 raised to the second power. Then, yung ating 2AB. So, dito naman, sa A, ang ilalagay natin ay 2X at dun sa B ay 3. So, bali magiging 2 times the quantity of 2X times 3. And 2 times 2X times 3 is 12X. Then, check ulit natin kung parehas yung product doon sa ating middle term. 
Yan. So, parehas silang 12x. Ibig sabihin, siya ay perfect square trinomial at pwede natin gawing square of a binomial. So, ang square of a binomial niya is 2x minus 3 raised to the second power. So, doon sa square of a binomial, isa lang yung ating isosolve uli. So, 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so add both sides by 3. So, magiging 2x is equal to 3. Then, division property of equality, divide both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 times x is x. So, x is equal to 3 over 2 and this is our final answer. Okay, so para naman sa inyong quiz, solve the following equations. Okay, so paki-pause nyo lang. Pagkatapos nyo magsagot, play nyo lang uli. Okay, so check na natin. Number 1, x is equal to negative 11 and x is 11. Number 2, Negative 13 over 3 and positive 13 over 3. Number 3, negative 3 and positive 3. Number 4, negative 3. Number 5, 6 over 5. 